Hi everyone, let's discuss a super trick to evaluate these kind of questions. Well, if you ever come across these kind of questions which are limit x tending to, as you can see, infinity in each of the cases and you are given a certain polynomial by polynomial or this is like a square root function upon a polynomial, what do you do? Few of you might have started solving it the traditional way. Few of you might have thought of the L'Hopital rule because the moment you saw infinity by infinity format, you are very tempted to do that. You can get the answer for these kind of questions in less than 2 seconds. How? Watch it out. The answer to this one would be infinity. Yes. The second one would be a zero and the last one would be minus 7 by 5. Yes, it is that simple. You want to know the trick? Let's reveal the secret in this video. Now, I am not going to even tell you any sort of formula, any sort of pattern. No. All you need to have is very sharp observation skills and that is all you require. If you come across limit x tending to infinity and you have the kind of format where you have a polynomial upon a polynomial or a quadratic upon a polynomial function, in such a case, all you need to check is the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator and thus this gives rise to three simple cases if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then the answer is simply infinity. However, if the numerator, the degree is smaller than the degree of the denominator, the answer is simply a zero. And if the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator, they are equal. In that case, your answer is coefficient of the highest power in the numerator upon the coefficient of highest power in the denominator. That's all you need. Like for the first one, you see the degree of the numerator like for the first one, you see degree of the numerator is 4, but the degree of the denominator is 2. So, the answer is simply infinity. And if, like in the second case, your degree of denominator is a 5, however, degree of your numerator, you might think it is a 6, but then don't forget it is square root of 6, which is actually x cube. So, it is 3. It is less than that of the denominator, so the answer is simply a zero. And the third one, since the degrees match up, x raised to power 4 and x raised to power 4 are the highest terms here. In this case, you only look for the coefficient of the highest terms. So just don't get confused by which term is written first. It is basically rearranging mentally. That means looking for basically the term with the highest power, writing down the coefficient, and likewise, writing the coefficient from the denominator. That's all. Wasn't that so simple? So, if you followed this video, then I have two DIY questions for you. Find the answer and write it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Share it with all the people around you. And... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel where you can find many more math shortcuts and many more full math concepts. So, see you with the next video real soon. Until then, bye-bye.